हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अंक मित्र एबैकस एंड मैथ्स नेक्स्ट वीडियो एज आई हैव मेंशन ऑन द पेपर आई हैव रिटन डाउन टू सम्स हियर बोथ द सम्स इन्वॉल्व बोरोइंग प्रोसीजर ओके बट बोथ आर ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड इन द फर्स्ट सम we do need to borrow but then come back to a final positive answer and in the second sum we need to borrow not once but twice okay so both are of different kind uh, once you have a look at the numbers you will come to know that they are quite different now we'll start with the first sum the first sum involves first addition of 123 so as we have we have zero on the abacus currently and we can start with addition of 123 then the next number is subtraction of 234 from this so for subtracting 2 on the hundreds place we don't have enough beads on the abacus and neither do we have anything on the left part of it okay so for subtracting 2 on the hundreds place we need to borrow so since we are falling short of beads on the hundreds place we will have to borrow on the thousands place so i'll mark one on the thousands place and as you all know this is our borrowed set okay so i will have to mark one on the thousands place here to just remember that we have borrowed one uh, on the primary rod for the thousands place so now we'll proceed with the subtraction of 234 in regular fashion so for hundreds place subtracting 2 will be done using the big friend formula since we don't have any any uh, five available here for subtraction so plus 8 minus 10 is done for subtracting 2 here then coming to the tens place for subtracting 3 we will have to use the big friend again so which is plus 7 minus 10 and for subtracting 4 on the units place again the big friend formula will be used which is plus 6 minus 10 now for coming to the last number which is addition of 345 so for adding 345 i'll start with the hundreds place for adding 3 here i'll have to use the big friend formula again since we cannot uh, use the small friend since 5 is already used okay so for adding 3 i'll do minus 7 plus 10 for on the tens place for adding 4 i will have to do my uh, use the big friend again so it is minus 6 plus 10 and on the units place adding 5 will be done using its own big friend formula which is minus 5 plus 10 now before reading the final answer we need to uh, ad make adjustments for this borrowed bead okay so since, since we have borrowed one on the thousands place we will have to check whether we have the uh, the bead uh, available to return the borrowed bead in this case we have one bead on the thousands place on our primary rod so we can return the borrowed bead if we return the borrowed bead there will be no borrowing left okay so in this case i'll return the borrowed bead i subtracted one here and removed this mark as well so now we have returned the borrowed bead and since there is no borrowed uh, available or sorry no borrow done in this case now uh, left uh, no borrowing left in this case the final answer will be the answer that we see on the primary rods okay so the final answer that we have is 234 this is a positive answer not a negative answer since this wasn't a borrowing at the end okay so 234 is a positive answer for the first sum coming to the second sum the first number is 234 and the next two numbers are to be subtracted from this both are larger numbers so we will be needing borrowing again in this case so i'll start with 234 we have already have 234 on the abacus for subtracting 567 um from this i will start with the hundreds place i don't have enough beads to subtract here and i don't have anything on the left so i'll start with borrowing again so since we are falling short of beads on the th hundreds place i will borrow on the thousands place so i borrowed one here marked one on the thousands place of the borrowed set and then proceeded with subtraction of 567 in regular fashion so for subtracting 5 on the hundreds place i will use the big friend formula which is plus 5 minus 10 on the tens place for subtracting 6 
I will have to add plus 4 and subtract 10. For adding 4, I will have to use its own small friend formula which is plus 5 minus 1. So this takes care of the plus 4 part and along with plus 4 I will do minus 10 and finish the subtraction of 6 on the tens place. Coming to the units place, I need to subtract 7. For subtracting 7, I don't have enough beads again to subtract. Uh, so I'll add 3 and then subtract 10 on the next left rod. So for adding 3 on the units place, I will have to use its own small friend formula which is plus 5 minus 2. So this takes care of the plus 3 part. Along with this plus 3, I will have to do the minus 10 to finish the subtraction of 7 on the units place. Now coming to the last subtraction of 891, again on the hundreds place, I don't have enough beads available to subtract 8 and I cannot do use the big friend formula here as well. So I will have to borrow once more. So for borrowing, uh, since I am falling short of beads on the hundreds place, I will borrow on the thousands place. So I borrowed one on the thousands place. Since we are borrowing again, we will have to mark again that uh, to remember that we have borrowed a twice on the thousands place. Now I'll proceed with the subtraction of 891 in regular uh, pro with regular procedure. So for subtracting 8 on the hundreds place, I'll do big friend formula which is plus 2 minus 10. For subtracting 9 on the tens place, it will be done using plus 1 minus 10. And for subtracting 1 on the units place, it can be done directly. Okay, so 891 subtraction is also done. For uh, the final answer, we need to do one more step now. Since we have two beads uh, borrowed on the thousands place and we don't have anything available on the thousands place here to return those uh, borrowed beads, what we need to do is we need to subtract this 776 number which we can see on the primary rods. We have to subtract this number from this borrowed set. Okay, so we'll subtract this 776 from this 2000. So for subtracting 776 on the hundreds place, subtracting 7 will be done using plus 3 minus 10. On the tens place also, subtracting 7 will be done using plus 3 minus 10. And on the units place, we are sub supposed to subtract 6. So it will be done using plus 4 minus 10. And now we have the final answer with us, which is minus 1224. Remember, whenever we read the answer from the borrowed part, borrowed set, the answer is a negative answer and in this case it is negative 1224 or minus 1224. This is our final answer in case of this second sum. Uh, I hope this uh, borrowing procedure is now uh, clear with everyone. Uh, in case you are finding it uh, slightly confusing or difficult, I would request you to have a look at this video a couple of times more. Uh, I am sure you will better understand this procedure. I know it, uh, it might take a little couple of more viewings to understand it uh, more comfortably. Uh, still, if you have any difficulties with this procedure, please uh, write it in the comment section. I will try and... Um, I'll try and clear those difficulties in my following videos. Bye.